If your check engine light is on, and you've taken your car to the mechanic to have it diagnosed, you may have been given a list of engine codes. Mechanics use these codes to identify what part of the engine is having issues. While some engine codes are fairly straightforward, others can be more difficult to decipher. The 7E8 and 7E9 engine codes represent an issue with the engine control and transmission management, respectively. The 7E8 error code is a general error code which means that there could be a problem with the sensor, which would lead to incorrect logic. If you have used an OBD2 scanner, you would know that freeze frame data are associated with each code. The freeze frame data is a snapshot of the conditions under which the code was set. Error code 7E8, engine control system failure. Error code 7E8 typically indicates a problem with the engine control module, ECM, which is also sometimes referred to as the powertrain control module, PCM. The ECM is responsible for managing and regulating a number of different engine-related functions, including ignition timing, fuel delivery, and emissions control. When the ECM detects a problem with any of these functions, it will often trigger an error code. In the case of error code 7E8, this typically indicates a problem with the ECM itself, although it could also be indicative of a problem with one or more of the sensors or components that the ECM relies on. Possible causes of error code 7E8. There are a number of different things that could trigger error code 7E8. Some of the most common include a faulty ECM, a short circuit in one or more of the ECM's wires, an issue with one of the sensors that the ECM relies on, a problem with the vehicle's fuel delivery system, a problem with the vehicle's ignition system, symptoms of error code 7E8. You may notice several symptoms if you have error code 7E8. One, the check engine light will come on. Two, additionally, you may notice that your car is running rough or stalling. Three, you may also experience reduced fuel economy and power. How do I fix error code 7E8? You can do a few things to try and fix error code 7E8 yourself. One, first, check all of your vehicle's fluids and make sure they are at the correct levels. Two, next, clean or replace your air filter if it is dirty. Three, you should also check for any exhaust leaks and repair them if necessary. Four, finally, have your spark plugs and wires checked by a professional. However, the best way to fix error code 7E8 is to take your car to a mechanic and have them properly diagnose and fix the problem. Depending on what they find, they may need to replace a sensor or actuator, or they may need to replace a wire leading to one of these components. In some cases, they may need to replace the computer itself. Error code 7E9 Transmission Management System Failure Error code 7E9 is an OBD2 diagnostic trouble code that stands for Transmission Management System Failure. This can be caused by a variety of issues, including a faulty transmission control module, bad wiring, or a failed sensor. In some cases, this code may also be caused by an issue with the powertrain control module. Possible causes of error code 7E9. There are a few different things that can cause error code 7E9. Some of the most common include Faulty Transmission Control Module The Transmission Control Module, TCM, is responsible for controlling the transmission. If this module fails, it can trigger error code 7E9, bad wiring. If there is any bad wiring between the TCM and the sensors it uses to gather information, this can also trigger error code 7E9, failed sensor. There are several sensors that the TCM uses to gather information about the transmission. If one of these sensors fails, it can set off error code 7E9. Powertrain control module issue. In some cases, an issue with the powertrain control module, PCM, can cause error code 7E9. Symptoms of error code 7E9. One, your car won't shift gears properly. You might notice that your car is slipping out of gear or having trouble shifting into higher gears. This can be dangerous because it can make it difficult to control your car, especially at high speeds. Two, your engine RPMs might fluctuate wildly. This happens because the transmission management system controls the shifting of gears based on engine speed. If there's a problem with the system, the RPMs will fluctuate erratically, which can put a strain on the engine. Three, your car might start making strange noises. If you hear grinding or whining noises coming from under the hood, it could be a sign of trouble with the transmission management system. These noises can also be an indication that the transmission itself is starting to fail. 
How to fix error code 7E9. If you're getting error code 7E9, there are a few things you can do to try and fix it. Fortunately, there are a few things that you can do to fix error code 7E9. Here are some potential solutions. Check for damaged electrical connections. The first thing that you should do is check all of the electrical connections in the transmission for damage. This includes both wires and connectors. If any of them are damaged, for example, if a connector is loose or a wire is frayed, try cleaning or repairing them as necessary. Inspect transmission components for physical damage. Next, take a look at all of the physical components in the transmission, such as solenoids, valves, and actuators for any signs of physical damage. This could include things like bent components or debris caught in valves. If you find any damage, try repairing it as best as you can or replace the component entirely if necessary. Replace failed components. In some cases, components in the transmission will need to be replaced entirely due to failure. This is usually only necessary if the component is physically damaged beyond repair or if it has suffered an irreparable electrical failure. You'll need to take your car to a mechanic for this one. They'll be able to diagnose which components need to be replaced and take care of it for you. Update transmission control module software. In some cases, simply updating the software in your TCM can fix shifting problems caused by error code 79. This process will need to be done by a mechanic. They'll have access to the proper software and equipment needed to update your TCM software properly without damaging anything else in your car's electronic system. What does the 7EA code mean? The 7EA code is not an error code per se, but indicates that the OBD2 system needs more info from the car's engine to run its diagnosis. This is common with vehicles that have been recently serviced or had the battery disconnected. The code will go away on its own after a few ignition cycles as the OBD2 system relearns the new conditions. To summarize what we talked about in this video, if you see error codes 7E8 and 7E9 on your diagnostic test, it means that there are failures in the engine control system and the transmission management system, respectively. These failures can cause a variety of problems with your car's engine or transmission. These can be caused by a variety of factors, such as physical damage to components, electrical problems, or software issues. You can try and fix both of these problems yourself by inspecting and repairing any physical damage, replacing failed components, or updating your transmission control module software. However, if you're not confident in your ability to do these things, it's always best to take your car to a mechanic so they can properly diagnose and fix the problem.